the topic we are now going to discuss about Esto. This is a tool uh, we are going to use in Kubernetes uh, with the service mess. So let's see what are the topics we are going to cover in this. What is Esto and why we need this features and architecture. What is Psycho Proxy and why we need that. And a Canara deployment and a example scenario. And the, at the last we can see the example scenario in Esto. So what is Esto? It is a service mesh that layer on the top of the Kubernetes to handle the network communication between your service. It enhances security, reliability, and observability by managing how data flows between microservices. Esto allows you to control traffic flow, enforce security policies, and gather insights metrics without changing application. The Esto uh, can help you with the traffic management, that is, uh, the, the traffic between services of your Kubernetes cluster why use Esto? Esto is widely adapted for managing microservices because it's simply the complexity of managing service to service communication in modern distributed application here it is why the story is very important simplified traffic management is to allow you to fine-tune the flow of traffic between the services that is routing and a load balance and and security it provides a mutual TLS authentication and authorization in the service to service communication layer mm. uh, for example uh, we can take e-commerce application uh, while the login uh, user can communicate it with the catalogs while communicating between the catalogs and between uh, uh, the transferred uh, empty ls means a secured connection to establish between them uh, so the next is increased observability is to integrate with the uh, logins and tracing use due visibility into service behaviors Resilience and reliability. It offers fault injection circuit breaking capabilities. So this is why we need Esto. So let's understand what are the features of Esto. Esto offers a wide array of features uh, to help manage, secure, and observe microservices in service mesh. The first one is traffic management. In that we have three. Routing, load balance, and fault injection. Routing. Control how API calls are routed between the services. Load balancing. Automatic rhetoric, timeout policies, and load balancing between the services. Fault injection test. Failure scenarios such as delays in outages. At the time we use this um, one. Uh, the next is a uh, security. As I uh, explained uh, while taking the e-commerce application uh, between the user and the catalogs, there they can communicate with the mutual TLS uh, for encrypt the day between the services. Uh, so for that we use mutual TLS authorization and authentication apply security policy based on the service role and permissions. Observability in this we have metrics and logs. Collect data using um, this is distributed tracing. Your, your uses uh, communication between a service to service to trace out the logs. So this is the architecture of a uh, store. Um, this diagram title this two architecture component seems to represent the key parts of Esto services mesh with the both data plan and the um, control plane elements. Esto mesh. Let's see what is Esto mesh. Represents the network of service and communicates between them managed by Esto. This mesh encompasses both the data plan and the control plans. So here we have ingress traffic and egress traffic. So handles incoming traffic from outside the mesh to the service inside. It route external requests into the internal service mesh. So the next is egress. Manage out going traffic from the service within the mesh to external service outside of the mesh so then we have a service a service b etc these individual microservices um, represents each service as its own sidecar proxies 
that handles all the traffic coming in and out of the services the proxies process and all these are a side proxies deployed along each services or next to service a and a service b they intercept the service traffic and manage communication between services in the mesh so next a service to service communication happens through this proxies which provide traffic management securities and a telemetry collections so the next is control plane these control plane manage and configuration proxy in the mesh and contains the following components uh, study volite a gallery and citril uh, so these uh, is a simplified version of the control plane that integrates previously separated histo components into one service gallery responsible for validating and distributed configuration it ensures that configuration changes are properly validated before being applied to the mesh for light manages service discover and distribute configuration to the anoi proxy it enable routing traffic splitting and load balancing across services citril manage security within the mesh specially ending certificate issues for the mutual tls between service to secure communicate for secure communicate we use citadel so mesh traffic so this show how traffic flow within the mesh between services using the proxies the traffic management can be fine tuned for load balancing and flyovers the next is discover refers to service discovery managed by the control plane for light it ensure that all the services know about each others and how to communicate with the mesh the last is how the data can be transmitted represents uh, and metrics collection with the service mesh the proxy collect data on service communication performance and security which can be sent to the monitoring tool like tools so sidecar a sidecar is a key component of a service mesh architecture like histo it's a small helper process through run alongside each micro subting in such managing the network traffic in histo the side proxy is typically uh, an instance of envoy which is responsible for controlling and securing the communication between the services why we need sidecar the term sidecar comes on the proxy being deployed alongside in the main uh, service in the same pod or a container it's look like a container or a pod both the service and its sidecar proxy share resources but the proxy is responsible for managing network related concern while the services are focused purely on the basic log business logic what is canara deployment uh canara deployment is a technique used in devops to release new software versions incrementally the goal is to ensure a smooth deployment for the first release of the new version to a small subset of user if no issues are encountered the deployment expanded to more than users until it reaches to 100% of the traffic so uh so uh, for example uh, while taking a catalog and a payment mode the first more payment mode is the version 1 and the second payment mode is the v2 for example send 10% to the v2 and rest 90% to the v1 once you can run the test you can increase the percentage and finally all the tests are satisfied by the user and you can remove the v version 1 so let's see the example of canara deployment a company has released a new feature in their e-commerce application and instead of deploying its all users at once they are use canara deployment to release it to 5% of user they monitoring performance and user feedback before rolling it out for the test user so finally we let's see the example scenario for the isto you have a catalog service in your e-commerce platform which communicates with other services like orders and payments envoy is deployed as a sidecar proxy for the catalog service when the catalog service make request to the order service the request first go through the envoy sidecar envoy ensure traffic rules such as uh, retry policies or circuit breaking are applied the traffic between services is also encrypted using mutual tls providing security without needing to change the application code oh that's all about the store tool
welcome thank you